Well, good early morning. Welcome to Simply Country Cuisine. So this morning, Dean and I are making a breakfast. This is a, a copycat of Starbucks egg bites. And this would be awesome if you made up a bunch of these, like on Sunday, Dina loves to do meal prep. She could make up a 12 pan of these, put them in baggies, and then just pop, pop them in the microwave and she could have breakfast on the go or take it to work and pop it in the microwave. So it's very, very simple. Um, <clears throat> I'm only gonna make four this morning. Uh, so I'm gonna take my uh, six count muffin tin and going to spray it generously. Normally I would have used Orida uh, tots. I couldn't find any, so I got an MTB brand. I'm gonna put three in the bottom of the tin. Just place them in there. And you could use any kind of cheese you want. White cheddar, Gouda, Munster, but just get the little slices or pre-grate it. Um, and we're gonna use sharp cheddar this morning. And I'm gonna cut this into fourths. I'm going to lay my cheese square onto my potato. And I have pre-browned, this was, you would probably use a whole pound, but I used uh, four slices of bacon. I did it in the oven and I uh, cut it up. Crispy bacon, I'm gonna put the crispy bacon on top. And be generous with it if you like bacon. And because I'm only doing four, I'm going to do three eggs. Um, if you were making 12, use five or six eggs because you wanna make sure you fill it up pretty good. And whisk them very well. Now I normally would be whisking these in a bowl with the balloon whisk, um, but since I'm making a small one, I'm just gonna use a fork. Okay, now on top of the, you have the potatoes, the cheese, the bacon. We're going to pour in some scramble. Now you can see that I, I put enough egg in that it's coming almost to the top. Well, this one did, because I want mine to come up a little. Sprinkle a little salt and pepper on top. The actual recipe didn't say to, but everything needs flavor. Uh, 350 degree oven for 20 minutes, and you come back and we'll have some egg bites. Now the eggs are done. I've taken them out of the oven, and I probably could have not filled this up quite as much, but see, I wanted them full. I wanted them to the top. So let's see how easy they come out of the pan. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut into one and show you what it looks like because it's pretty hot and I'll try and take a bite of it. Um, and then I think Dina and I'll have these for breakfast this morning. The potato on the bottom, the eggs and the bacon. I say the word eggs and Buttons goes crazy. She loves eggs and she did already get eggs. <laughs> this is very hot though. You're gonna love these. You could make these on a Sunday afternoon when you do your meal prep bag them up in Ziploc baggies after they cool completely because they'll sweat in the bag. Very, very good. Remember, use your choice of cheese on it. You don't have to just use sharp cheddar. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Simply Country Cuisine. And always remember to subscribe, like, and share each video to be alerted on Wednesdays when we air the videos on YouTube. And on Thursdays on our Facebook page, we have Trivia Thursday, and I will be posting a trivia question. If you answer correctly of that day, the answers will be posted on Friday, and you could win a prize. And remember, if you don't have a place to worship, we would love to have you at any one of our Glad Tidings uh, churches in Central Texas. And please come and join us, and God bless, and have a beautiful day.